So, yes, we are online. I hope everyone can see us. Welcome, everybody, to our scarf release stream together with the devs. Um, I hope sound is nice and everything is nice to hear. Um, if there are some problems with the voice or the sound, just type in the chat and we will try to adjust a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so uh, first things first, my name is Max. I am from Handy Games QA department and yeah, I will guide us a little bit through this stream together with Yannick. Hello. My wonderful colleague here. <laughs> Tell something about you. <laughs> hey, I'm Yannick. I'm the lead tester of Scarf, and I'm happy to present the game to you once again. Yes, and then of course we have the team behind the game. Guys, maybe introduce yourself to the audience. Yes. So, hello everyone. Hello. <laughs> we are Rising Studios. We are a small team from Spain. Uh, Scarf is our first project. Uh, I am Zeller. I am a producer, game director, composer for the game. And David, I am art director and game designer. I am Carlos. I'm the lead programmer. Nice. And they forgot to wear their scarves. Uh, <laughs> at least I am wearing the red uh, shirt uh, <laughs> to match uh, the game. But yes. Today he came to me, so. <laughs> yeah, today the scarf <laughs> attached itself to Yannick so for, for, for his gameplay. Okay, then, um, yeah, we prepared some gameplay for you guys. Uh, some, uh, I guess, a little bit of every chapter of the game. And I will switch over to the game view so Yannick can show us a little bit about the game. And you guys feel free to ask questions in the chat you have about the game. I hope we can answer everything and if you have some some questions directly to the devs just ask them otherwise I will give it up to you guys you can talk a little bit about the game yeah. and yeah Yannick will play for yeah. us The Scarf is an exciting single player adventure game missing puzzles and 3D platforms you will explore beautifully crafted world and discover your destiny with the help of a partner, a dragon shaped scar. In the game, the player will follow the journey of her main character, an English creature that finds an alive dragon shaped scar who needs help to get back home. Your mission during the game is to travel to different worlds created by the souls. The souls have stolen the keys to the scar home, and those keys have granted them the power to create new worlds. During the game, you will follow the source and try to recover the keys with the scar. You can now see one of the souls, actually, which is creating this temple here, and we will have to follow that soul. So this is this is the first the first level, right? Yes, yes. This is the, this is the ocean. The ocean. Yeah, it's the first level of the game. It's a little introduction to the game. Yeah. yeah. Hey. hey! And there is the scarf. Uh, the scarf uh, will help you uh, during the adventure. Sometimes uh, it will fly away and point some different places. Right now, during the game, you will create a bond with the scarf and you will pet it or hug it. As you have <laughs> just <laughs> seen <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now we are moving forward uh, to the temple as we've seen that one soul was there uh, so we are going to try and try if we try can to reach the yeah, temple maybe we can reach it maybe or not maybe not or so <laughs> we can't. during the game <laughs> during the game you will unlock different abilities uh, for the scarf right now you have already they unlock the double jump that Yannick is uh, nicely <laughs> doing. Thank you, Yannick. <laughs> and you will be able to unlock different abilities in the different levels of the game. Uh, and they will, well, you will need those abilities to move forward with the game. Uh, in the game as well, 
you have exploration. We have many things hidden in the game, uh, which, for example, Yannick right now has discovered one, but clearly we don't have this ability yet. We don't have the swing ability. So I think we will have to keep trying to discover where this ability is. So well, we will have to, I don't know, continue with the game, right? And <laughs> the, and the, puzzle, the puzzle that we have here. I hope Yannick okay. will solve it. I'll try to. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we all don't know. <laughs> So, yeah, we have some we have some things going on in the chat already. Yes, we can pet the scarf. It is possible. You can hug him, um, and he will be very helpful for you. Yes, I think it's a really important thing uh, the bond uh, with the scarf because uh, during the adventure uh, you will create a relationship with with the scarf. No, yes, yeah, okay. At the beginning, actually, the scar was uh, a little bit different. It was not a dragon at the beginning of the development. Just a piece of cloth. Yeah, it has a piece of cloth. <laughs> but we decided that uh, after some time, David uh, did some sketches. And yes. Eventually, we discovered this. We thought that the design of the dragon shape was better to, to interact and to empathize uh, with this. Uh, with these feelings of the scarf, because sometimes the, the scarf will show you uh, something like happiness or sadness or fear. So it will show some emotions that the player can yeah. visually see and recognize feel with the yeah. scarf, so to say. Yeah. Well, that's nice. And as you said about exploration, I mean, we can we can see it. It looks very very beautiful. So I think people will have a lot of fun just exploring the whole world. As we can see right now, we are underwater, right? So we have this yeah. bubble that protects us from, from drowning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Uh, as you can see in the scarf, you can find different templates for exploration, passes and platform. Uh, we try to have a balance between platform and passes and to create interesting places that the player could want to explore. Like this place. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. There are some some secrets here, but it's okay. Let the players to explore when we play the game. <laughs> yeah, we don't want I to. We don't want to spoil uh, everything. Uh, so. <laughs> I think the underwater mechanic uh, is really interesting. Very no. cool. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we work so hard in the level of detail of these underwater songs um, and the. Uh, putting all this life and, for, uh, and these corals and colors. I think it's really, really interesting the, the idea be surrounded, be surrounded by the water. It's true. But I think we, what we wanted to do is that to invite the player to want to explore all the game. So art-wise, we really wanted, uh, you know, uh, to do a great, great work so the player can enjoy while exploring. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Not only in land, but under the sea. <laughs> yes, that's definitely <laughs> the case. Yeah. I love those fishes. Yeah. Okay. It's it's just it's just there will be some moments when people play the game where they just keep keep staying at some place and turn the camera around like in a movie and be like watching the surroundings and everything. So that's that's pretty cool. Yes, I think uh, some some places and landscape in Scarf are, uh, as you say, uh, for a uh, stop and play and look at the camera around you and enjoy the the views and the colors and, yes. and all the environment. Yeah, it, it's a calm game, I think. It's, uh, it's a calm game. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's one game that you want to play. They calmly explore, just watch everything, and try to discover the secrets, discover, discover the, the story behind yeah. the game. Yeah, the collectibles and the things you can find exploring are bound into the story, so you can find the true story uh, finding those collectibles. Yeah, it's true, it's true. And now we are actually leaving the water, yeah, leaving the water for, for some 
on time, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, what we are going here right now is to a platforming area. Yeah. Uh, in the game, uh, you will find the different platforming areas, different platforming challenges, but platforms in Scarf or Scarf in general is not challenging in terms of hardcore play. Uh, we really want all the family to play the game. It's, yeah. uh, you know, it's a family-friendly game, it's a wholesome game with uh, what we think is a good story. Uh, so we didn't want to... We think that gamers can also play the game and enjoy it, but it's not a really hardcore game. I don't know, so, I don't like other games, platforming games that really present a, a challenge uh, to the player. Uh, I don't know, if you die here, for example, you will just respawn and <laughs> you will not lose your progress. There's a lot of, a lot of checkpoints yeah, for the player. No life, no. Yes. You can, can you can just simply play it and, and enjoy it. And yes. There will yeah. be no no big punishment. You can, no. you can check out everything you want and have a look at at cool looking things and stuff. That's nice. And speaking of playing the game, maybe a few people ask themselves when can I play this game? You can play it because today it is released on PC. Yes! So you can grab the game, you can play the game by yourself, you can enjoy it yourself and check out the beautiful landscape, as we can see here. Um, yeah, because it's out You can today. stop watching the stream and go play for yourself. <laughs> yeah, or maybe watch the stream or and play you yourself. Can, you can, if you don't want spoilers, you can close your eyes, you know? <laughs> and just hear us uh, comment, the, yeah. comment the gameplay without seeing anything. So yeah, there are a few people uh, writing in the chat, so it looks amazing, it does indeed. And yeah, it can be a perfect game for the holidays, for example, because it is very relaxing and it is just beautiful. Exactly. And, it, and if you have, uh, you know, if you have coal, you know, you, you can wear the scarf and I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's a life hack. <laughs> okay. So now we're uh, heading into another cave, right? Here. Yes. Um, actually, what we saw there? Yes, we saw an another ability before uh, in the other side of the river, but we cannot reach it right now. So we have to explore uh, this area, like we are doing, like we are doing right now. So let's keep moving. Nice. Uh, one thing that we have not said yet is, uh, well, there are different levels in the game. This is the ocean. There is the desert and the middle. Yes, the, well, the forest. The, 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 the desert, well, yeah, well, it's the same. Well, I don't know. We call it the middle of the forest. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can call it everyone. <laughs> um, there are different worlds. Uh, we, we think we, are, we have tried to make them beautiful. Uh, and you will discover different abilities also in, in those levels and different mechanics. Well, in the ocean, of course, you have this exploration uh, in the water and well, in the, I don't know. Every every world is uh, totally different from the, from each other. Yeah, with different uh, mechanics and themes. Uh, as we played before, out of these places are created by the source. They are using the keys to the scarf home to create all of this. But we are trying to help the scarf, so we have to overcome all these challenges to uh, get the keys. That's true. <coughs> and it, which is true also is that uh, as there are different souls in the different levels, they have like different personalities, right? Yes. yes. Um, so every world is created more or less to the personality of these yes. different stars. Yeah. They project their personalities on their on their worlds where they live. Yeah. So for example, the mechanics in the desert are different because the soul of the desert is more like a monk soul, something like that. Yes. Um, for example, in the forest, they are more like playful, playful, playful or like, like children. Yes. Uh, so you can play with the souls, you can attract them, and, and then you have you get the keys. If you 
if you are able to do it, mm. let's say the players can do it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope so let's say <laughs> you as the player also have to adapt a little bit to the different areas you visit. So, yes. in terms of puzzles, for example, or yes. different mechanics, well, it's, it's, it's different. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's not that complicated, but yeah, it's like that. What else? I don't know. For example, we could talk a little bit about the, the idea. Of yeah, the, the, the idea that Spark Scarf was a drawing of our lead artist, David. A small and weak creature traveling through an animal world with the help of a scarf. Yes, uh, after that, uh, we, we create a, a world and a story to support that setting. Uh, we were really interested in the idea of a stronger companion uh, with you in the game that can help, help you and guide you. At the same time, the scarf also needs you. Uh, and so you it's more like a symbiotic uh, relationship. And there is uh, another place where we cannot go right now. The shopping then. It's probably a collectible. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We don't know, so you have you have to check it out yourself. <laughs> But there's a there's a question in the chat coming up, so I will read it for you guys. So how did you come up with the water displacement idea? Like and the first was cinematic, but just a cinematic. We want to in the first level we want to make a, cin a beautiful cinematic to enter in the, the ocean. Yeah. But an we, open in the water. Uh, in the water before we, we we like the idea. And we thought that we could make a, a mechanic of it, yeah. because the cinematic was uh, just a, a few seconds, and then it uh, was really beautiful to the idea of uh, go through the water. So yeah, so we we we, we talk about it and we check if 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 it was possible to add to us uh, to make it, and if it and it was, uh, so we did it and. Um, we started playing with that idea to move around, and I don't know, it came. It's probably, yeah, it came really nicely. I think yes. it was really more interesting than the first one that was just yeah. this cinematic for the introduction of the level. I don't know. It was, I don't know, it was a good idea. I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. And what you did is you you just created another possibility for the player to just have his own cinematic moment, so to say. Because yes. he now is able to be underwater himself and move move around and explore everything, so I guess that's that's a great idea. Yes, in our terms, uh, Yannick, wait, don't go there. <laughs> okay. He's running, maybe. I want to see what's there. He wants can't to wait. explore. I can't wait. Okay, it's. A I will continue that. Uh, no problem. <laughs> I will say that in our terms. Uh, it could bring us uh, different possibilities and make some different scenarios and environments. There's not only the, the environments of the sun and the, uh, and the landscape on, on, how do you say, on the, on the earth? And then the sun, the or, or working, on, working on the ground. Because, uh, stay, because working on the water, you could uh, stay in, in different uh, in places where you didn't see before. Yeah. As we can see before, uh, the player takes a new ability, the shrink, yep. and now we can reach the secret path and the temple with that ability. Yannick yeah. really wants to go to this cave, okay, uh, this secret place, so <laughs> let's see what... <laughs> so now he's able to cross... To cross yes. This, yes. This, uh, this bridge. <laughs> While he do, while he does, while he is doing so, uh, we have another question, and the question is, what was your inspiration for the game? That's a very cool question. I like that because we, I also want to know. <laughs> we had different inspiration, not only in video games but uh, in other arts, like uh, movies, like uh, Ghibli or Pixar. Uh, the mechanic of uh, underwater was. Uh, 
strongly inspired, inspired by the movie Moana or Bayana. The, I, I don't know in, in English. Bayana. Moana or Bayana. 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 I think it's Bayana. <laughs> and uh, the movie Brave. And the old. It's uh, Scott, it's got uh, landscapes and. Yeah. Uh, but, but actually, the, 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 the main idea behind it was that drawing that David did uh, like six years ago. I don't remember what. Because it was this character and it was really interesting and we started playing with this idea of the, okay, the scarf, you, your companion, and I don't know, it was really, it was really that. And then many people compare us to Journey, which on the one hand is okay, it's nice, it's okay, because uh, Journey is one of the best games ever, so okay, but uh, we are not exactly like Journey, yeah, we different gameplay. Um, I don't know. And now Janik is moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's so, happening here? What is happening here? Yeah. So, there are some places uh, in which you actually, uh, the scarf may not want to go. The desires of the scarf may not, not align with the desires of the player at some point. Okay. And it's... It's a decision for the player. It's a decision that we will let the player uh, take, which uh, they can actually go here and discover which is which is this. Or, as in this case, for example, we can see that the scarf is a little bit sad, uh, so we we can hug it and just uh, say it. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we can now go a little bit to the temple. I don't know. Maybe we have time. I don't really know how much time do we have because we want to show a little bit of the desert and the forest. Yes, we can do so. I think we can go to the front of the temple to see this at least and yeah. then change yes. to the desert. Okay. We can create a cliffhanger here by showing the temple. For okay. <laughs> I just love going over the bridge. Okay. While, while Yannick does that, uh, there's another question, which is really cool. We have a lot of questions here. That's nice. How did you manage to give the scarf so much personality? At the beginning, it was uh, really hard because, as we told you before, the, 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 the scarf uh, was not dragon shaped. That was only cloth. And the only thing we can do was uh, move and a strong work with animations and different positions, but uh, the, the shape of the scarf uh, helps a lot uh, to prove that uh, emotions and, and feelings. Yeah, so actually when we change and added this uh, dragon shape uh, to the scarf, it was a really big boost of uh, personality uh, because suddenly all the animations that uh, Mary our animator, our animator uh, did, suddenly they really came alive uh, and it was like, oh fuck, now this is really something we we can work on because, because the other way it was just this piece of cloth and it was not that really interesting. Uh, but with that dragon it was like, fuck, the same animation suddenly, is, they are amazing and they really work well. Yeah. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> It's easy to the project of Batai with the scarf. Yes. yes. It's a lot, of, a lot of work with shapes and positions and, uh, and colors, also with particles. And, Jai, what, what we could show maybe is the drawing that is there on the yes. right side of Maybe. Oh, so there's, so, a, there's a collectible right here in this area? Yes. yes. Okay, so guys, remember this place. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard to find. <laughs> when it is, yeah, it's when one it's of the easier ones. Yeah. So this is one of the collectibles. This is one of the drawings that Lady uh, did. Uh, and uh, in all of the collectibles, uh, normally are related to the story. These drawings tell some part of the story. And there are some other collectibles as well that tell you the truth behind the game. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, yeah. the story, the collectibles expand the story, and you can you you can know what happens with the souls that live in the, in these worlds. So let's jump to the desert then. Yeah, maybe we yeah. can. Okay. Go to the desert. 
Let me just uh, switch up the scene here again, so we can prepare. And yeah, so far, this game looks very beautiful. Uh, also, the people in the chat are loving it so far. And yeah, we will just start the next area. The next area is the desert, right? Yes. Yes. yes so, is there some some story behind why it's a, a desert in particular, or all the world, all these worlds are uh, projections of the personality of the souls. So we wanted to sh to show a soul really calm and peaceful and lonely. So we thought the desert was the the perfect place to show all these emotions. Yes. And all the color palette uh, reflects this uh, personality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and also in the desert, the player will be able to find some new abilities. For example, that he he didn't uh, he yeah. didn't found in the in the ocean. For example, so there will be something new to the player that he can interact with and and use. Yes. To solve some things. Okay, then let's have a look. Hello. <laughs> I think that we are saying, ah, now, there. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the desert. This is the desert. Uh, this is the second level of the game, the desert. Uh, in this level, we sky, we scale a little bit the puzzles and the platform. We have uh, a new ability. The life and new mechanics. As oh. We can see there's wings there, and you need to cover. Yes. Yes. You need to cover from the wind. So I, I guess there will be there will be a place where the player can glide over a huge area, or yes, yes. Or that's that's great. Favorite part so, of my, of the game. Yes, the desert that's is so uh, one of the largest. Uh, uh, worlds in the game, so we thought that uh, the glide ability was uh, perfect for for uh, reach uh, all these far areas. Hey, uh, you are doing maybe Yannick, Yannick can perform a, a big a big glide with the. <laughs> he can. He yeah, actually can. That's there, cool. there will be some spaces. I guess every player loves to fly around in a game. That's that's super awesome. It's really interesting the, the different areas uh, you can find in the scar. Like this right now is a, a large and uh, you have uh, to move uh, to uh, in this uh, different uh, fl uh, flying island. You have to you have to platform a little bit. Mm. <laughs> yes. So you, you can use your abilities here. It's not a big challenge, but it's really nice. As, and as you said, for example, as we have this new ability, which is the glider, uh, this is a bigger level, so now you can enjoy with these flights. Uh, and combine all these abilities. Research, so. Like Janik is uh, perfectly doing. Because <laughs> <laughs> Janik is a master. Master um, the abilities. Yes, you can create the platform. And now you can glide there, yes. Ah, so by activating the crystal, he created the platform for to progress yes. to the level. That's some yes. cool. mechanic that we have in the game, but if, if this is not the first time that the player can do it. <laughs> oh, but they will have to discover yes. for themselves. And you can use these wings as well to, to glide. another ability there. Yes. Ah, yeah, it is true. <laughs> this is one that we did. <laughs> we have not shown it yet. So you can slingshot yourself. Yes, yes. yes. That's also awesome. Ah, that's the win. Ah, Janik, you tried to cheat. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if it's good uh, to hear, but the sound of the game also is very nice and calming in my opinion at least, and it fits perfectly to the setting as what, what we can hear right now in my opinion is 
is like really relaxing and fits to the whole desert theme. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think this, this is one of my uh, favorite uh, areas of the game. I don't know. It's like a really nice part uh, with the platform. Uh, yeah, with the glides, it's feel really good to platform in this area to use all the abilities, the winds. Mm. It's true. The player can stop and watch everything. I think the, the art team did a great job. Uh, shout out to Manuel, which is our 3D artist, the only 3D artist that we have. So everything <laughs> he did all the work. <laughs> the, all the scope. He has scoped everything. <laughs> so he did all. You can see right now. <laughs> He is the real creator. <laughs> 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 yeah, so we have, everything looks amazing, is someone writing in the chat? Yeah, it, it definitely is. Congrats on the launch. This looks like a really Thank cool you. game. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Uh, what else could we say about the desert? <laughs> I don't know, we are right now, for example, we are approaching a new uh, pastel area, right? Yeah, uh, yes. And you have to traverse this cave. Yes, the, the pictures in the wall sometimes will tell you a story, so you have to... to you have to, to be aware. Yeah. You have to yeah, listen to everything. <laughs> well, Yannick is too fast. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Let the players discover everything. Yeah. We can, for example, you can go a little bit uh, more, Yannick, there maybe, and show us a panoramic of this area, and we will let uh, the players explore the rest. But, yeah. Because this is a beautiful area as well, yes. I think. That's my favorite puzzling area right here. <laughs> so this is this is a whole whole bigger area with a lot of different puzzles. Yeah. There, right? Yes. And um, having shown this, maybe we could show a little bit of the forest as well. Yes. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I, I would have a question in my mind right now too. Um, and my question is, what what was the most fun part for you guys to create in the game? For me, I think uh, the create all these uh, uh, transformations and abilities for this card because uh, we have a lot of crazy ideas. <laughs> really, 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 really. But uh, we have we have to cut them off <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and create all all the different worlds uh, because it's scarf is not the story of scarf is uh, is not in, in only one world uh, it's in different uh, places so we can create a uh, different uh, scenarios and themes and colors and palettes and it's really really fun to the art team <laughs> create uh, all different settings for me the most fun area uh, was actually the one that we are going to show i think <laughs> i'm more spe specific I think it's like this one because I, I really like this area that we are going to show yes. this one and the one that we are going to show next uh, i really like these areas so this uh, is one right now, we can see it. Yes, the, this table and the part uh, that we are going to show after, uh, it was really fun creating that area. I really think it, it came together really well uh, with the art, the music, and, and, and the pacing, the level design is maybe the, the, the best one. I don't know. Yes. I really, really like that right area. I think <laughs> it's so fun. Um, yeah, it is maybe be the, my favorite area. Yeah. 
as we can see, the doors are closed, but we can maybe read this path. There's a hole. There's a hole in the wall. Through the rings. Maybe we can transform it through the rings and yes. reach that hole. Do you think you can reach it, Yannick? I'll try it. <laughs> the scarf will help me. Try it. Yeah, scarf will help. So this is the area you talked about with the very like playful or childish uh, like yes. souls. Yes. We are going to see when uh, Yannick uh, go. I don't know. <laughs> or no. Maybe we can't reach the hole. <laughs> <laughs> so the forest is, is the last and the big uh, level in the game. It's uh, the the biggest so far in the game. Uh, there are three souls living in. This, uh, in this world, and we have to recover uh, the keys. That's true. What, what we, uh, uh, we have just left uh, the temple. In the temple at the beginning, before this uh, save game that Jenny had, that I, I don't know how he had it, maybe he was cheating, but <laughs> before that, <laughs> we just encountered the souls, and they have run away. So that was why the scarf was there, uh, like, sad. <laughs> um, we did re recover the scarf. Uh, we could have explored the temple a little bit. Maybe there are some secrets there. But Janik mm. did not want to spoil anything of the game. So thank you, Janik. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are moving forward to the river, which I didn't really think is a beautiful area. This also looks very relaxing. Yes. It, it looks like a place where I want to uh, lay down on the ground and spend just... Spend your holidays. Spend my holidays. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get away from the cold. You guys are in Germany right now, right? So, I don't know, in winter maybe it's not the same as this, uh, <laughs> this nice weather <laughs> there. No. Definitely not. <laughs> I really like the the art in this in, the, in these worlds. I th uh, as we told you before, these uh, these worlds are created by the souls, and they they project their personality in in these uh, scenarios. So the the world of the of the forest is uh, one of these most colorful, and they reflect the the joy and the playful of the of of a kid. Because uh, the souls have uh, this uh, personality. That's the most beautiful gliding party. Yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's flowers. I yeah, guess this, this was David and I had a meeting like, okay, we have to make this transition here from here to here. And uh, it was like, okay. I really want this to be the most beautiful thing that we can do. It was like that conversation we had, yes. and it was like we are going to do the best that we can, and let's see what uh, we can do. And actually, I think it came really, really nice at the end. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I also like the, now, like the old statue that looks. Yeah. Really cool. We really like the owls. <laughs> <laughs> There was a fight, uh, actually. <laughs> Manuel did not want the owls. <laughs> <laughs> At least I want the owls. Well, like, Manuel, I am sorry. Manuel <laughs> was the biggest fan oh, of, yeah. of the owl. I love that system. Yeah. They are more. <laughs> <laughs> and there are some owl status that serve a, pro a purpose, uh, actually. But, but yeah, we really want it. I don't know. Another animal uh, lives in the world, so yes. they think the the owl statue fits really well. Uh, this is like the reveal of the of this new area. <laughs> the new area. And again, the music really fits to the scenery. Yeah. Yes. Feller did a great job. We tried. We tried. No, no, you did. <laughs> ah, now we have to solve this area, this puzzle to move forward. Wait, is this uh, a rabbit? Yeah. 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 In the game, there are some birds as well. Uh, the forest 
the forest there are some animals, the puzzles, some puzzles are related to these animals, and you have to, well, you have to do some things with them. Um, yes, I don't know. <laughs> you, will, you will have to see for yourself. Yes, we don't want to show that much more, I guess. No. But as, as we can see here, so Scarf also helps you a bit, I think, because right now he's like pointing yeah. to the statue, right? So this is, this is, I, I've, this is from, from my opinion, a good example where you can see the symbiosis between the Scarf and the player. Mm -hmm. They help each other. Yes, we really try that. Like in some of the puzzles uh, that we thought that maybe players needed a little bit of help yes. or something to, you know, to push the players in one direction and Scarf was really... Yes, because some areas uh, are open, so the player can explore and he can lose uh, his, his way and this Scarf will point you some places if you don't know how to continue. Yeah. We don't want you uh, text uh, text us tells you what yeah, to do. Map. Map or yes, mm. it's yeah, a we can little, little hey, game. Maybe here. Do you want to play bowling? Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I want to see if I can hit them all. Oh man! Yes, you have to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> All these um, stories and plays uh, were created uh, by the souls, so... Yeah, it's like where they live, so... They are kids, so they, they need to have fun and yeah. play with them. <laughs> That's true. It's true. I don't know. So what else? We stop here with the gameplay, at least. Yes, I think it's... So we don't show too we much of it. Everything that we wanted to show, yeah. maybe. I don't know, maybe it's... What questions here yeah so yeah. i have one question oh okay i heard something of a little tattoo story okay yes. <laughs> what's behind that without don't spoil we can no 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 i think he's he wants us to tell the story behind your uh, your bed I think. Yes. With the tattoos bed. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me tell you. Listen. So, David and Carlos, some time ago, they did a bet, which was <laughs> <laughs> if the game uh, releases and releases well, if the players like the game, so if the players <laughs> grade us with more than some grade that we are not going to say, uh, then they will uh, <laughs> tattoo uh, the, main themselves, the main character of the game, yes. And I have to say here publicly that Janik yeah. has <laughs> said that he may join this bed. Oh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's new for us at the office, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. Good to talk about. We didn't about. decide the, the design, but when we have it, uh, I can uh, send you. <laughs> yes. Let me see it and we will see. There are some tattoo artists there working in yes. the games. There are, oh, yeah, we have some there. connection here. <laughs> yeah, we have. We have. So everything is settled. Yeah, <laughs> we will see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, nice. It's on paper now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all, we all have to sign and then it's... it's yeah. Like, we'll see. It's recorded, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's recorded, yes. And we have... We no have turning back. ...viewers to check this out. Okay. Well, then, if there are any more questions in the chat, please let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Chat is writing, yeah, it's no, recorded no, now, so yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> I guess uh, Consti will, will make a clip out of it, <laughs> so we will never yeah. forget. <laughs> yeah. Right, save us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, again, the game is out today. Yes, I think it, it is already up on, on the platforms, like, like on Steam, on PC. Mm. On, uh, oh, help me, on yeah, many platforms. 
<laughs> it's out on PC. It's out that, on that's PC. What we can say. Yes. Steam, Epic. Epic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Epic. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, if there are some more questions, I think people are most more likely like writing in the chat how awesome the game looks. <laughs> so that's that's great. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All questions <laughs> answered. Yeah, I guess the most questions are answered right now. I mean, hey guys. you guys can be happy now and have a wonderful celebration. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Followed <laughs> by Christmas, <laughs> which is some more celebration. And yeah, I guess that's a, that's that's nice. Yeah, so... so I don't know. Thank I you. Say. Thank you very much for hosting. Thank you very much also uh, to the people that are watching right now. Or the, and the people that will watch in another time, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for all the uprising team. You made this yes, sir, uh, to the rising team. We, we love you guys. guys. Yes. We love you. We love you. We love all the Yannick. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, thank you for the beautiful game. Yes, it was thank a you pleasure for the working on it. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for joining us today in the stream, of course. And yeah, we wish you and all the viewers uh, a very happy and peaceful yeah. Christmas time. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I guess we will see each other in the next year then. And hope you guys stay healthy and safe. And yeah, that was our stream for the scarf release. And yes, it's time to play now. It's time to play now. <laughs> so take guys, care, guys. Bye. Have a nice time. Bye bye. See ya. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.